Hello, this is Jenny from Healing the Wounded Heart. I wonder how many of us struggle being patient with ourselves, with one another and with God. Probably all of us at some time or another. We can so easily find ourselves getting so frustrated, annoyed and even angry. Patience is one of the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5.22. You see, the more we allow the life of Jesus to transform us from the inside out, then the more patient we will become. I know this is a lot easier said than done. My husband is always telling me that I want everything done yesterday. Does that ring any familiar bells with you in your life? We usually lose our patience when things are not going according to our plan, don't we? Whether that is standing too long in the queue at the checkout, or that shower job we had done recently which really did take a lot longer than it should have done. Incidentally, I can identify with both of those things. We all know that getting frustrated and impatient doesn't actually get us anywhere, apart from being stressed out, which doesn't do us any good or achieve the desired result. So what else does the Bible tell us about patience? Well, it says quite a lot about it. And this particular verse from Romans 12, verse 12, really spoke to my heart. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Tribulation means trial, suffering, pain, ordeal, distress, difficulty, trouble, hardship and misery. Well, that just about covers everything in life, doesn't it? So I think that the key to remaining more patient when going through various tribulations is simply trusting God that whatever it is causing us to be so impatient, he will work it out in the end for us as we pray, no matter how long it may take. So therefore we can rejoice in the hope that despite the tribulation, he will come through for us in the end. It's about taking our hands off our own lives and placing them once again in his hand, isn't it? Believing that he really does love us and wants the best for us. God bless you. Amen.